Hello everyone. Welcome back to the ethical hacking course. Now that we understand what is WPS and how it can help to recover the password for WPA and WPA tunnel. Let's dive into how we can actually perform this attack. I have my Kali machine ready and I have already enabled monitor mode on my wireless adapter. Scanning for networks with WPS enabled. Usually we use Adam NG to see all nearby networks. But this time we only went to find networks with WPS enabled. For that, we will use a tool called WAS. So I will run the command WAS interface and our wireless adapter interface. And where LAN 0 is my wireless adapter in monitor mode and hit enter. And you will see all the networks that have WPS enabled. Here you can see my target network called GN access 2.4 gigahertz. Understanding the output, it's giving us some important details. The vendor of the access point, whether WPS is locked, it says no here, meaning we can attempt to guess the pin, the WPS version, which is version 2 in this case, the signal stand, channel, and BSS ID. If you have forgotten what these terms, if you have forgotten what these terms means, refer back to the earlier lecture on air dump ng. But remember, we don't need to worry whether it's WPA or WPA2 because we are because we are targeting the WPS feature. Since our target network used WPS, there is a good chance this attack will work unless it use it uses push button configuration. In that case, the router would reject all pin attempts. Unless the button is pressed, the only way to know is to try the attack. I will copy the MAC address of the target network. And now we need to associate with the network using a fake authentication attack. Running the fake authentication attack, I am going to use LPLAY NG for this. And here is the command LPLAY NG fake auth. Thirty hyphen A target ID hyphen H hyphen H for our wireless adapter MAC address. Copy the first twelve digits and paste here. Remove hyphen and replace the column. And our wireless adapter network interface. This command tells Airplay NG to perform a fake authentication attack every 30 seconds to keep the connection alive. Now we are ready to associate with the target network, but I won't execute it just yet. Now, first I clear the screen. Running river to boot for the pin. Here is the command river PSS ID. Paste target BSS ID channel and interface and video associate. Let's me break it down. Rio is the program. BSS ID provides the target network's MAC address. Channel specify the network channel. Interface specify the wireless adapter in monitor mode. VV source detail information. No associate tells reward not to associate since we are handling that manually. Now I will hit enter to start reward. And go back to top terminal. And run the fake authentication attack. As you can see, Reaver has successfully recovered the WPA key, which is 12345678900. I can now connect to the network using the password and decrypt any packets being sent. Keep in mind, this method won't work on all routers, but when it does, it is quick way to gain access. In the next video, we will dive deeper into testing and exploring other attacks and methods.